The Australian Electoral Commission is entrusted to deliver free and fair federal elections for all Australians. Each federal election sees the AEC mobilise the largest peacetime operation in Australia. The AEC employs more than 80,000 temporary staff to work at more than 8,000 polling locations spread across Australia, which all needs to be secured at five weeks' notice. The AEC endeavours to provide Australians the opportunity to vote no matter their circumstances. Approximately 500 early voting centres open across Australia. Polling teams travel to around 400 remote communities and nursing homes, and voting centres are available in more than 80 overseas locations. The AEC even facilitates access to voting for Australians in Antarctica. Sometimes we say it's like building a Fortune 500 company in four weeks and then dismantling it in a week after the event. During the first week of the election period, the AEC processes hundreds of thousands of enrolment transactions in order for Australians to be ready to vote. Enrolment is the base for participation in electoral events and this election will have the highest rate of enrolment ever, up from around 90% in 2010 to more than 96% in 2019. An incredible achievement. Candidates have a deadline in which to nominate with the AEC. Once candidate nominations are received and declared, a draw is undertaken to randomly assign their positions on the ballot paper. We will put all the balls into a barrel and one of my staff members will be blindfolded and they will draw that out. After the draw finishes, I will go straight into our election management system. I will enter the results that have just occurred and that will go straight to our printer and that's how they will print the ballot papers in the order of the candidates that we draw out here today. Basically every state produces ballot papers for its electorates within its state. So that happens on that ballot paper weekend after the close and declaration of nominations. So what we do is we then package them and we use our contractor logistics provider to go out to our divisional network. From there, um, our divisional network then uh, distribute out to the officers in charge of the polling place. Uh, in the week prior to polling day, there's a ballot paper reconciliation process where they check to ensure they've got the right quantities and then they set up on Saturday morning ready for people to vote. That's on polling day. We have other services like mobile polling and early voting. Those type of services start a little bit earlier than election day. And on top of that, we've got the um, added requirement of providing ballot papers overseas. So we've got roughly around 90 odd consulates overseas. So we need to ensure that those ballot papers get to all those consulates. Management of polling place means setting it up prior to the election and setting it up in such a way that the voters have got a good flow through the place. Voting screens come in a flat pack, they have to be assembled prior to the election day and work out where the, the voter flow is going to go. Each of the staff members have advised beforehand, they do get face-to-face -face training, asking the correct questions to make sure the vote is marked off. Federal election in Australia is the nation's largest single peacetime logistic event. It is huge. We hire 80,000 workers, four weeks to do it in, about 8,000 polling places, print 50 million ballot papers and then count those ballot papers safely afterwards. We take the count very seriously as well. We say we count swiftly but safely and accuracy is everything. On election night, all votes cast that day are counted, as well as some of the pre-poll votes available on the night. For the first few days after election day, a large portion of the sorting, secure packaging, verification against the roll and counting of around 5 million votes cast away from a person's home division is undertaken. With 13 days allowed for postal votes to be received back by the AEC from voters, results will be formally declared for House of Representative seats as soon as the margin is unable to be overtaken. It can sometimes require waiting for the full period. The AEC also works to finalise the count for the eight Senate contests through a careful process of scanning and verification. The counting operation often continues long after interest in the contest has subsided. The whole operation for both the provision of voting services to the finalisation of the count involves carefully planned and executed processes to an enormous scale. We frequently get asked questions about our role and uh, it's important for us to explain to the public exactly what we're doing. When you think about it, we have two things that we provide. One is a safe place for citizens to vote. But the second thing is we count 
the votes accurately. We have to provide citizens with the confidence that we are doing the right thing and that their voice is heard the way they intended it to be heard. The very centre of everything we do is a value called electoral integrity. We take that seriously. We have processes wrapped around that to ensure that citizens' voice can be heard. Authorised by the Electoral Commissioner, Canberra.